Day 64 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day 82 in the Eastern Pacific, and we currently have a number of systems active at the moment. Tropical Storm Gill has weakened from hurricane strength, um, as well as two invests in the Eastern Pacific at the moment. 91L is up to a medium chance, 50% as a matter of fact, near the Bahamas at the moment. Um, and we also have Tropical Storm JB, which is... Um, make, making landfall in northern Vietnam right now. It's already made landfall in Hainan in the past 24 hours um, and that storm's obviously uh, reaching the end of its life but the uh, effects of the storm will continue for a little while yet. Yeah, obviously a lot of rainfall over that area in particular as well as wind speeds um, gusty winds in the um, in the South Chinese coastline and parts of Vietnam. 94W as well still going as well as two invests in the Eastern Pacific 90, 90E and 91E. 90E with a medium chance of development and 91E with a very low chance of development at this stage. At 91L in the Atlantic there, it's uh, just near the uh, northern Bahamas, not too far from the Florida coastline either, and that's expected to move towards the north and then curve towards the northeast. Looking at the Indian Ocean, things remaining fairly quiet at the moment, no systems that are likely to become active over the next two days, which is um, fairly uh, normal for this time of year. Um, the uh, Peaks of the uh, North Indian Ocean season are generally in spring and um, particularly in autumn towards the end of the year. Looking at the sea surface temperatures then, uh, very warm waters off the Mexican coastline, more so than we've had recently, around 30 degrees generally, as is lots of the uh, Gulf of Mexico, a large area of the Gulf of Mexico, 30 degrees or more uh, around Cuba as well, that's the case there too. Um, and in the Western Pacific, near the um, South China Sea, waters remaining warm, the Gulf of uh, Tonkin where the uh, current storm is, JB at the moment, wa warm waters here. Uh, Tropical Storm Gill currently with winds of 70 miles per hour, weakening from Category 1 hurricane status, 85 miles per hour it peaked at earlier in the day. Pressures 992 millibars, positions 14.6 north, 129.4 degrees west, and is expected to move towards the west, possibly curving towards the south slightly, uh, as it weakens eventually to a tropical depression and then um, ultimately to a remnant low in about five days time. Uh, that's looking at the forecast at the moment. You can see the shear map here, the current wind shear. Uh, you can see towards the west of the storm increasing amounts of wind shear over the next um, few days if that remains the case um, and increasing towards the storm's west-northwest. So if it does move to further towards the north, the more likely it is to weaken more quickly. Um, it has its best chance if it keeps towards the south. Tropical Storm JB is currently with winds of 60 miles per hour. That's its peak at the moment and uh, isn't likely to be any more than that because it's about to make landfall very soon over Vietnam. Pressure's 985 millibars. Position 20.5 degrees north, 109.2 degrees east as of 9pm UTC on August the 2nd. Um, and is expected to move into Vietnam, obviously with the very northern reaches of Vietnam as a tropical storm and then eventually weaken into a tropical depression and then dissipate, um, probably over Laos or uh, northern Thailand. A yellow typhoon warning is in effect for parts of southern China and storm conditions are expected in northern Vietnam, of course. Obviously with heavy rainfall uh, could cause some flooding in the area, especially of the mountainous regions further inland um, and gusty winds along the coast as well, 60 miles per hour gusting to even higher wind speeds and that possibly of typhoon strength as well. And this is the Western Pacific overview in the past 24 hours. You can see uh, JB moving off the screen there towards the left-hand side, moving quite quickly over Hainan and slowing down slightly as it moves over the Gulf of Tonkin, the area between Hainan and Vietnam. The uh, system, there's a system just east of the Philippines as well. I don't believe that has been designated yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is very soon. Um, and Tropical Storm Gill then, this is the current system in the uh, Eastern Pacific. You can see how it's weakened slightly, especially if you watch the last update. It certainly looks more organised and you could see a, a bit of an eye perhaps. Uh, but that doesn't seem evident on the uh, imagery at the moment, the floater imagery. And you can see it's perhaps may, uh, got a little bit elongated, which obviously isn't a very good sign for the storm. Tropical Storm JB is a rather broad system. You can see it moving towards the uh, west-northwest in the past few frames on floater imagery. Perhaps even a bit of a, um, uh, an eye developed towards the very last few frames um, on that first floor from June particularly you could see something just trying to pop out near the Vietnam coastline uh, but either way the storm will make landfall as a severe tropical storm um, and then um, it's a slowly weaken and dissipate and this is Invest 91L in the Atlantic this is still the uh, what was left of Dorian once upon a time um, you can see it causing a few showers of Florida thunderstorms and whatnot uh, some dry air towards the uh, northwest as well over northern Florida at the moment which could be interfering slightly with the storm as it moves towards the north uh, the CMC model 
takes, as a, takes it as a weak system moving towards the north and then the northeast past the Carolinas and out to sea. Um, as for the eastern Pacific, I think it develops 90E just moving off to the west there. I'm not sure if it was 90E that I was looking at or whether it was Gill. Uh, the ECMWF model takes uh, Gill out to sea and then another storm forming in a few days time, about a week's time in the eastern Pacific as well. As for the Atlantic, things looking fairly quiet according to the ECMWF, no new systems um, forming in the Atlantic. The GFS takes Gill out to sea obviously moving towards the south and then towards the west again with another storm forming towards the very end of that loop. That's around um, I believe it's seven or eight days out um, at the end of that loop. The Navgem model takes Gill out to sea as well towards the west. Nothing going on in the Atlantic in particular um, and perhaps uh, the beginnings of another system forming in the eastern Pacific again at the end of that loop there. That's the Navgem model. The GFDL um, this is uh, 91L we're following here, you can see at the very start, that's a bit we're interested in, uh, as a weak system moving towards, coming towards the northeast, following the United States uh, coastline pretty much until it moves past uh, North Carolina and out to sea. The HWRF, this one's for Gill moving towards the west and then towards the south a bit and the storm in front of it, 91E could uh, maybe develop a little bit into a tropical depression perhaps out in the eastern Pacific, we'll have to see about that. This is the stat static model for um, model runs all side by side here for 91L. Most of them take it towards the north and then towards the northeast. Some move it out to sea a little bit more sooner. Um, and you see that one outlier that takes it through southern Florida. I don't think that one will be happening, but you never know. The CMC model for the Western Pacific then moves that current system, JB, obviously to China, then another system following it, moving through the Philippines, the western coast, and then another storm behind that as well, uh, affecting the eastern coast of Luzon. Uh, the GFS model takes the next system through Palawan Island in the Philippines and then out through the Ch South China Sea, and then eventually into the Chinese coastline just north of Hainan as well, so a bit of a double whammy perhaps in store uh, for that region over the next few days. Looking at the overall predicted season scores then for August the 3rd, no change over yesterday. William remains in first place with 71 points, Hurricane Barbara in second with 70 points, and BFDIA submission 2 in third place with 68 points at the moment. That's the top three. For August the 3rd, you can submit your own storm totals at the website. Force13.com forward slash interactive is the place to go. Just click the 2013 Predictor Caesar button and submit your totals and it will be put up on the leaderboard standings in due course. Uh, I would hurry though if I were you because the scores are going down rather quickly. The potential scores that you can receive um, based on the skill and accuracy. So what happened on August the 3rd then on this day in 1970 Celia made landfall in Texas as a category 3 major hurricane resulting in 20 fatalities and 454 million dollars in damages that one's pictured. In 1982 Hurricane Hector dissipated in the eastern Pacific. There it is at its former self as a peak, as a peak intensity as a category 1 storm. In 1986 Hurricane Frank dissipated in the eastern Pacific and in 1987 Hurricane Greg also dissipated in the eastern Pacific. In 1995, Erin made landfall in northern Florida as a Category 1, the Panhandle region, resulting in 13 fatalities and $700 million of damages. In 1997, Tropical Storm Scott dissipated in the Western Pacific. And in 1999, Olga made landfall on the Korean Peninsula as a Tropical Storm, resulting in 266 fatalities and $700 million of damages once more. In 2000, Tropical Storm Alberto formed near the Cape Verde Islands. Also, Fabio formed in the Eastern Pacific on that day. Um, I think that one's the one that's pictured there. In 2006, Fabio and Gilmer, another Fabio, dissipated in the Eastern Pacific on the same day. In 2008, this one's pictured Tropical Storm Eduard formed in the Gulf of Mexico near the uh, Louisiana coast. And in 2009, Tropical Storms Enrique and Felicia both formed in the Eastern Pacific on this day, August the 3rd. And don't forget, you can track any storm that forms at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking is the place to be for that. Uh, that, that page will show you the uh, overview map showing where the storms are and tables at the top and bottom which show their intensities and indeed um, any warnings that are currently in effect at a glance including invests as well by the way. Um, then you can go further in depth basin by basin to see what's going on in terms of the storm tracking maps where you can where you can see those storms expected to go obviously um, and any warnings that in, in more detail obviously that's fairly um, fairly important at this point with warnings out in the, on the South China coast line and for parts of Vietnam as well um, obviously watching the storm as it makes landfall in Vietnam at the moment uh, and don't forget you can visit the, the social pages on Force 13 YouTube Facebook and Twitter on all three of those just search Force 13 on the uh, relevant pages and you find us fairly easily enough 
Um, and please do um, show your support by doing the usual means of engagement by liking, subscribing, commenting, favouriting uh, or anything else that uh, you may think of that I can not right now. Um, and I do appreciate, as I always do, you may think um, I just say that, but um, I very do, uh, I really do appreciate anything that comes through um, in terms of positive comments, or indeed any comments, um, as long as it is civil. And um, you can also visit the new Storm Discussion Forum online at the website force13.com. Just click the forum button along the top there, and uh, you should um, find it fairly easily enough. And um, please do engage in discussion if you so wish on the current storms that are out there we don't bite over on the forum um, there aren't that many of us just yet but uh, please do make up the numbers if you can uh, but that's all for now the next update's coming up at around midnight UTC probably on Sunday morning provided that the storms are still going um, if not I might give it a miss but we'll see um, if necessary we'll, we'll be doing another tropical weather bulletin tomorrow midnight UTC on Sunday morning August the 4th